All right, guys, welcome back. So in the last video, we learned how to add images to our Final Cut Pro library. And in this video, we're gonna talk about how to use one of these images as a background. And uh, I use this a lot. I see this a lot on YouTube videos and it's a very good look. Now in the last video, we added a image to our background and I'll just go from the top. I'll just go ahead and delete that. And let's go ahead and grab this. And remember we talked about if you wanna use an image that fits the full screen, I highly recommend using a 1280 by 720, at least that size and 1280 by 720. Uh, yeah, it's our four by three ratio. Four times three with the height. Okay, so right here we've got just a still background and you control how long you want the picture to be just by grabbing it and dragging it. Keep in mind, there's no, it's not a movie. It's not a four second movie. You can grab it as long as you want bring it as long as you want, or you can drag it to the left as short as you want. That's how you extend or decrease the duration of an image in Final Cut Pro. It also works that way in iMovie as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I don't need it to be that long. I've got my background image right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab a clip of me just like that. And what I'm gonna do is we're gonna do, a couple of videos ago we did picture in picture. And I'm, that's pretty much what we're doing in this. I'll just go and do a quick little run through of what we did. So by default, this picture is going to be about that and I'll get rid of the border as well. So what I would do is I would grab a clip, put it above your background image. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on transform right here and you should see these dots pull up and this will scale it. And let's go ahead and keep moving that just like that and that's kind of the gist we created borders a couple videos ago this border right here i can get rid of that if you don't like that or uh, thanks for like watching it you can uh watch a video on it it was like four videos ago in the playlist and that's kind of again gist. congratulations to the winners thanks for everybody for participating and i'll see you guys in tomorrow's video this is a very cool background far cry 3 one of my favorite video games of all time this is not a cool Dude right here, this is me, this is my ugly face. Um, yeah, and if you're interested in learning about borders, you can go back a couple of videos and I'll just take this border off. I'll just do it like that. And that's the gist. That is how you successfully add pictures. If you guys have any questions, comments. I'm sorry, that is how you successfully add a still image as a background in Final Cut Pro 10. In the next video, I wanna talk about JPEGs versus PNGs because it's very crucial and there might be some confusion with the images that I imported in the last video. So good luck with this. Hopefully this made sense and you guys learn a thing or two and I'll see you in the next video where we talk about the difference between images.